I am a little nervous because I'm like, this will throw a huge wrench in my plans. She's gained weight and muscle and like, her feet grew a whole size. And she checked her eyes. She checked them like four times. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the vlog today. It's the day after the first day of Christmas. Christmas. Um, Wait, what? It's the day after the first day of setting up Christmas. Um, April's off to the doctors with EB. What uh, What do you hope to achieve in this doctor's appointment? It's kind of the first big checkup after taking her off Humira. Is that what's happening? It's her eyes. So they're checking oh, it's her eyes. Eye appointment. And just praying that there's no. She's inflammation. never had anything. Even this doctor Humira. has never once seen any inflammation ever. I've... If you remember correctly, the only doctor that maybe kind of thought that she saw a little in the left eye. That was her exact wording. <laughs> if there's nothing today, is it going to be like a year before we do this again? Or are they no, every three super months sensitive because, because we're not on medicine? Yeah. If, if it had been two years and she'd gone two years off medicine and had nothing, I think they'd be like, okay, we can see you once a year, but or maybe every six She's months. She's not seeing a rheumatologist, just eye today? Just eye. Rheumatology is in a couple weeks. So, Ugh. But if her eyes are bad, there's no way you can stay off medicine because I'd be very surprised because she never had anything. No, I know I don't think she ever had anything. I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not nervous, but I am a little nervous because I'm like, this will throw a huge wrench in my plans if there is even a little hint of inflammation. So. Anything. But I, I do trust this doctor. I believe they're honest, so I don't think that they would lie to me. And I do feel like the first doctor was just making up crap. Is that crazy? Yeah, it yeah. is. But they did. Okay. Bye guys, love ya. Have a great day. Where's Frank? Right there. He says, make this tree glow. <laughs> um, so this is our plan for this tree. There is no outlet. I kept thinking, maybe I should put an outlet right there. Because I thought, oh, maybe I'll do a round table one day or like want plug something in, but then I'm glad I didn't because I like having it clean. dancing. Yeah, yeah, it's like I didn't want her stepping her toe on it and stuff. But um, our solution right now is the Goal Zero battery. We're charging it up. We're trying to see how long it will actually last without plugging it in. We got to get a full charge, and then we'll see. I'm so hoping. You can plug it in at night when no one's walking back and forth, and then in the morning we can plug when, in. But when do you turn on a tree actually? Isn't it at night when you turn it on? I don't think I would sleep all night with it on. Charge it after we've like when enjoyed I go to it. bed in all of our houses. Always when I go to bed, you, I turn you off turn the off the tree. I don't want the house to burn down because I've just heard like I don't know why I think that right. Like ooh, I don't want the house to burn down, so I turn off the Christmas tree. <laughs> and maybe these are LED lights. And Let's crazy. get this to a full charge, and then we'll see how long it I lasts. Really love this tree. It's a I good think looking it's easy tree. To set up. It Fluffy looking immediately. This one. This one gives like, us a lot of trouble. <laughs> fluff it out a little bit. So. Have you seen those trees where they wheel them in and flip them upside down and. Yeah. yeah. But I do love how skinny and tall that tree is. So. It is skinny like, it and tall. It doesn't take up a ton of room. Yeah. This doesn't take up a ton either, but like it's perfect for right here. I love it. I love walking in the front door, just being like, "There's a Christmas tree." <laughs> kind of blocks the view of the. Table, Where are you going to put it during the Thanksgiving dinner you're hosting? I not think that far in advance. I'll probably just, honestly, I'll Should probably slide, just it? slide it right here. Oh no, Frank. Where? You know what time it is. Bridge. We're going under the bridge. I need your help. I'm not ducking down. You got to duck down so we can make it under the bridge. I'm not ducking down. Frank, what if we hit? We're not. I'm ducking down. Frank, help us out! No. Why aren't you ducking down? Come. Uh oh. What? We hit it. No. Cause you weren't ducking down. Dad, go. Dad, we did it. Dad, I know you did it. Oh, good thing I ducked down. How are you so smart? 
I have a feeling that you are their favorite customer every time you come. I just, Do you know why? Because you're so dang cute. <laughs> if I worked here, you'd be my favorite customer. Okay, so I have a little surprise for Frank. It's with the sidewalk. I'm about to show him what it is. Frank, are you excited to see it? Okay, so I made a little adjustment and I think he's really gonna like it. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna cover his eyes. Cover your eyes and I'll walk with you, okay? Okay, okay he, want, he said we should cover his eyes and I'll walk with him. Okay, stop walking, open your eyes and have a look at it. Do you see it? This right here. That means you can go around the corner fast and you don't have to, and you don't have to turn like zoop. So you can go down nice and fast. You want to try it? Okay, do you want to do, do a wiggle car or four wheeler? Four wheeler. Huh? Four wheeler. Four wheeler? Yeah. Okay, is that a good surprise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made that. Praise the Lord. Baby had no inflammation. Her eyes were quiet, they said. <sighs> what a blessing. Like, I'm, they could tell I was really nervous. <laughs> I was like. Okay, April is still gone to uh, her appointment with EB. I'm sure they're out getting some lunch or some fun or something. I've been working on moving wood chips over into this area. A lot of wood chips to move. Um, the plan is, and the way our we've always planned it was right here is where the chicken cage goes. So uh, you might want shoes on, Zaid. We're gonna be walking through poop and stuff. And Okay, all right, here we go. All right, ice cream celebration for no inflammation. Give me five. I'm so proud of you. Is it good? What kind did you get? Some cashews. We got the cage over here. I got Zayd out. It was actually quite a circus because two of the chickens got loose, right, Frank? Mm -hmm. We were worried the dogs were going to get them, but they didn't. They just kind of helped us catch them. But we are in business. We got some stepping stones placed along the path to gather eggs. Okay, let's see if it works. Boom, get the eggs. Okay, let's put some chickies and some food in there. Okay, the honey's home. Uh, we just let them run amok. Really? No. Things got crazy, but they're in a box right now. I'm about to put them back in. About to release them into their new home. What? Yeah. That's so amazing. Was it? Was EB so happy too? Yes. I mean, she doesn't care. She's all, let's go get some ice cream. But like, the doctors were just like. I'm very impressed. I did not expect her to have no inflammation. Having today. gone off Humira? Like they were just like, why would you do this? And then today they were like, okay, I'm very happy to see this. This did is you tell good. them she's growing too all yeah. of a sudden? She's gained weight and muscle and like her feet grew a whole size. Like in just a matter of in two months. months. Yeah. Like it's crazy. It was really hurting her, I think. What's the matter, baby? Well, the ladder suspended a little bit and she you know, if there's one thing I always say about chickens, they don't like a wobbly ladder. <laughs> Frank, come and hold the door closed so the chickens don't get out. They're so scared of you? Well, I caught them just barely there. I feel like you need a rock under it or something. Well, I think I just build it up. like sand okay they're looking at you like what are you doing <laughs> okay should hold for a few days we got a lot <laughs> a lot done today sorry i was just sweeping it's dusty look at this all the wood chips i think we brought in a total of 24 cubic yards of these wood chips and the chickens have a new home. They were in the back of the yard. This was their original um, home where we just 
where we originally wanted them, but just too much going on back here to have them here. But now they're here and they're happy and we've got a path to feed them and collect eggs. And um, yeah, look at all this, a lot of wood chips, but got a lot done today. I can't even remember if I vlogged after the doctor's office or not. I was just so ecstatic. <laughs> can't even remember what happened after because I was so relieved I was really scared I, I remember I was like almost like I felt like I was in trouble sitting in the doctor's office just like mm -hmm. like I didn't want to talk and I was just like nervous I was just like check her eyes tell me like and they could tell I was really nervous and one of the doctors she was from Turkey I could hear her accent was really thick and I asked her where she was from and she was from Turkey but she she came in and she like she's still on all these citizens every week and I was like she was like no why and I was like uh oh I'm in trouble <laughs> and I was like I don't know like we just decided to take her off like the, she's like who decided I was like all of us like Dr. Vitali and all the doctors and me and like we all talked about it and we decided to challenge and and she's like why and I was like well her knee was not getting better. It wasn't working and she was getting really sick. And she was like, okay, well then why don't you just switch to a different medicine? And I was like, cause I don't want to, <laughs> like, I don't feel like that's what I was supposed to do. I was like, my intuition said to just take her off the medicine. Okay. Like that's what we're doing. I don't know. Like we're going to see what happens. And if she flares, that's, that's why I'm here. Like, please check her eyes. Like doctors lately, I'm just like, but then as soon as I said that, she's like, okay, okay. And she checked her eyes and she said, she checked them like four times. Cause I think she was really like, I'm going to find some inflammation. <laughs> she finally turned to me and she's like, well, the good news is her eyes are quiet. So that's good. And I was like, good. She's like, how long has it been since she's had her medicine? I'm like two months. And she was like, oh, okay. That's really good. And I was just like, and then Dr. Vitali came in and he did the same thing, like looked in her eyes over and over and he was like, yeah, her eyes look perfectly fine. And I was like, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, so we're going back in five months, which is a longer span than we've gotten to do in the past. But he was like, yeah, she's never had swelling with us. And I told him my whole theory about the other doctor and he didn't love that. But Cause he's like, no, if it says she had swelling, we're going to say she has swelling. And I was like, okay, I'm telling you, I don't think she ever did. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Cause all that matters now is right now, does she have swelling? And she does not. And I'm so happy. Um, so that was really good. And then now I dropped Alice off at the gym. I dropped Daisy off at tumbling or cheer. And then Davy and I are going to teach a country dance class at the high school, which is so fun. And I'm like a little nervous. And I'm, I told Davy, I'm like, I kind of just want to stay home. Am I turning into a homebody? Because <laughs> I don't feel great. Oh, there's just a lot of reasons. I'm like exhausted. I have blisters all over my hands from doing yard work. And I'm like, I'm just really tired and I just want to go to bed. <laughs> He's like, honey, it'll be fun. So we're going and I don't want to let the kids down. So I'm doing it for the children. So I have to kill an hour though. I'm going to go into the store and do a little Christmas shopping if I can. I'm just going to kind of browse and see what there is. But it has been so hot and warm today. Like it feels like a like a beautiful summer day. It was the weirdest thing. I'm out in the sun raking leaves in a sweater and I was like, or not raking leaves, but raking mulch. And I was like sweating and I'm like, what is it summertime? So weird. Anyway. All right guys, wrapping things up here. We went over to the high school and taught some country dancing. I wasn't able to film anything, but we had a good crew there and it was a lot of fun. Good workout. Uh, Daisy slept. I danced with Daisy for a little bit. She's like, you're sweaty. I was like, yes, that happens, dancing constantly. Um, but we're going to end the vlog now. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm so excited for Evie's appointment today. I'm so happy that things are going good. We just keep praying that she can stay off her medicine and live a happy, healthy life. But we'll just see what, what tomorrow brings. Thanks for watching. Fun getting everything. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.
Okay, Easter at Grandma's house. Zade cannot find any Easter oh, baskets. Oh, oh boo yeah. Found one. Want me to get it? Uh -oh. Careful, careful, careful. I have my bunny. They found one. Daisy, where's yours? You found... I don't know. I guess you'll never okay. find one. Just look around. Daisy, I found one. They found one. Oh.